Tech Talk Alert. After our latest digital life hack, you're going to hear one of my weekend show's best calls. You don't want to miss it. I use Instacart to have my groceries delivered, but there's a huge price to pay for convenience. I'm Kim Commando, brought to you by Total AV. Get 85% off industry-leading security for all your devices at protectwithkim.com. Using Instacart to have someone go to the store, do your grocery shopping, and then deliver your groceries costs you. Depending on your location, expect up to a 25% markup on the groceries. Some supermarkets on the app say their Instacart prices are the same as in-store. I always look for those. Then there's the delivery fee that starts at $3.99 for orders over $35. Now we have to add the service fee. This goes directly to Instacart. That's typically the cost of 5% of the order. And you can't skip this last step when ordering groceries. The shopper's tip. They've done all the work, so a tip, usually between 5 to 20% of your total, is in order. So yeah, it's a lot cheaper just to go to the store. To get ahead in life and at work, you need to be tech smart. So sign up for my free newsletter at getkim.com. Now, check out this amazing call from the show. It's a real gem. Uh, ben in Torch Lake, Michigan. Hi there, Ben. Hello, Kim. How are you doing today? Fantastic. So what do you do there in Torch Lake? Uh, I actually work at a hotel for now. Awesome. Um, just after the pandemic hit, they needed help, and, you know, I stepped in to help them. Well, that's awesome. So how can I help you today? I wanted to ask you how you first got into cryptocurrency and if you were serious about making a commando coin. Because oh, I heard that on one of the past shows. <laughs> well... Uh, I've been dabbling in cryptocurrency for a couple of years. I haven't made any money with it, just to let you know. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm more of the investor, the cautious investor. And, uh, you know, I've thought about putting like a couple of thousand dollars in maybe Ethereum or Bitcoin Cash or something like that. Uh, you know, there are 10,000 different coins, right? Yes, I heard that on one of your past shows, yeah. 9,998 or yes, something. Yes, at least, some right? Well, probably by now, Ben, there's probably over 10,000. There's 11,000 yes, by now. Yes, ma'am. And so with the Commando coin on our staff, I happen to have a really great guy who knows a lot about crypto. And if you listen to the podcast, uh, he's a friend of a friend of a friend who actually tried to mine and didn't quite work out and good things like that. And so in order to really come out with a commando coin, which I am really contemplating this, is that it, I really want it to be backed. I want it to be, it has to be obviously trusted, right? And it has right, to correct. have, it has to have a purpose. So. Yes, utility. Yes. And it has to be giving back in some way. And I'm not quite sure how to pull all that together, uh, but it's working in the background, if that makes sense. Does it? Right. I, I, I understand. I mean, I've been dabbling in crypto for a while now also, and I've actually made a couple of coins myself, just nothing special, but I've definitely put in smart, smart contracts for new coins. So that's why I was asking. So what kind of coins did you get? Um, well, I made my own coin, but it's oh. just called Richternomics, you know, a play on cryptonomics. Um, but I haven't done anything yet, but I do it on the BNB smart chain. Um, in other words, it's B&B, but they have their own networks, and you convert it to smart chain. Well, you know, so that's what I do it with. Well, you know, they're trying to come up with all different kinds of coins, and, and you have to be really careful because, you know, yeah. some of them out there are really nothing more than pump and dump and pyramid schemes, right? I mean, so, exactly. And you don't only want to invest in crypto, whatever you are prepared to lose. I mean, our very own Mike James. Mike James, you got into crypto. <laughs> Right? Oh, yeah. How much fun was that? Okay, so, so Mike, tell us your story. I grabbed, you know, somebody told me that Do Dogecoin went up like 30 or 80% or something like that the previous week. So I thought, all right, well, what could go wrong? And so I bought $5,000 <laughs> of Dogecoin and it immediately crashed. I'm talking about within one hour of when I bought it. <laughs> so, like, I was on, I was in my office about an hour later and, like, I'm out. And so I lost like 500 bucks. So you lost 500. Oh, then, wow. Okay. Did you ever keep track to see if it actually went up? Uh, it went up the next week, but then it went all the way back down to like 24 cents. I have not looked at it recently, but uh, I don't know. I'm out. You know, it's one of those things like, you know, like when you buy and sell a stock, right? I mean, you sell the stock to get the profits. And the worst thing you can do is look back and go, oh, gosh, I could have made, I just lost like $2,000 because I should have held on, right? But with the thing with with crypto is that if you're gonna you're gonna buy it, I think you you need to hold it. 
it's not something that you're going to buy and then then let it go up and then dump. I mean, it's really something that you have to look at your portfolio and you have to see if this is really something that that you want to be a part of. And what's also interesting, crypto, and I'm really glad that you called, Ben, and thank you so much for your call today, is that um, hey, Kim. next week. <laughs> it's now at 19 cents. So I bought it at 34 cents. Wow. And it's gone all the way down to 19 cents. All right. So that uh, was a good move. It was a good I move. I got out. Yeah. It was a good move. So I think, Mike, you ought to just stick to real estate. I think so, too. You know, I think real estate is what you're good at. Yeah. I mean, how many properties do you have now? Uh, well, I have 16 units, four fourplexes, two houses. Okay. So I think real estate is your game. Yep. Cryptocurrency isn't one of them. <laughs> right. But what I was going to say is that um, next week I'm going to speak to the New York Times about cryptocurrency as donation means. That's right. Some colleges and universities and 501c companies are now taking crypto as donations. And there's some whole bunch of ramifications with that. But we'll talk about that a whole nother time. Uh, ben, thanks again for your call. Let's Hey, a huge thank you for streaming with me. Now, if you're puzzled about something techie, I'm your gal. Just find the email Kim link over at commando.com and let those questions fly away. Now, every email gets my eyeballs, I promise. And keep your digital life in the know. Be sure you sign up for my free newsletter over at getkim.com.